Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Let's talk about each brain area individually. For the MCAT, it's really important to know the primary function of each brain area. Every brain area has tons of functions. If you were to look up any one of these areas of the brain on Wikipedia, you'd find a laundry list of functions that the brain area has. So instead of wasting your time memorizing all these long lists of functions for each brain area, just focus on the single most important function for each brain area, and you're going to be great on the MCAT. Let's start with answer choice A, the pituitary gland. In a previous MCAT video, I covered all of the important hormones that are released by the pituitary gland, both the anterior pituitary gland and the posterior pituitary gland. And out of all those hormones that are released by the pituitary gland, none of them have a significant role in hunger regulation. So we can eliminate answer choice A. What about the pineal gland? The pineal gland is responsible for secreting melatonin, which regulates your body's sleep-wake cycles. Does that have to do with hunger? Not very much, so we can eliminate answer choice B. The hippocampus, that's involved in memory, right? That one should be easy to remember. And finally, answer choice D, the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus has several important functions, one of which is the regulation of hunger. And the way I remember that it's involved in hunger is I think about the parts of the hypothalamus. There's a lateral hypothalamus, and if this brain area gets destroyed, you're going to lack hunger. There's also a ventromedial hypothalamus, and if this brain area gets destroyed, you will be very much hungry because this part of the hypothalamus is important for the recognition of feeling full. So using this mnemonic device, I can quickly choose answer choice D as the correct answer here. And for more mnemonic devices to help remember all the different brain areas and their important functions, I would definitely recommend my 10 Most Commonly Missed Concepts course. I have an entire lesson that walks you through every single brain area and it's one single most important function. I think you'll find it very valuable. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10 minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.